Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at Winsound.com. In this Logic Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate the effects within your mix. And remember, if you ever have any questions on my ideas, you can always get a hold of me, Chris at Winsound.com. First thing that you need to do is you need to open up the automation option. Do this by simply selecting the A button on your keypad. Now you'll see automation has popped right up within the selected region. Now the next thing that you need to do is you need to select the effect that you want to automate within your session. You do this by simply selecting this button right here. I'm going to go up to Echo because that is the effect that I'm going to automate. Now simply go over to the sub window and I am going to select wet. The wet signal is the signal of the effect. So as you can see by default, Logic has given me the automation line straight through at a steady 78%, which means that 78% of the echo effect is going through this region. So I want to put this effect only on the third snare beat of every measure. So what I'm going to do is this is the third snare beat right here. So I'm going to create two nodes right before the snare beat. And now I'm going to drag this automation line right down, all the way down to 0%. Now right before the fourth snare beat, I am going to create two nodes again, very close to each other. And now I am going to drag that automation line all the way down right before the snare beat, once again down to 0%. And now what I want to do is I want to copy this automation over to the next measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to option click on the first node. It makes a copy of the, all the automation after that node that you have created. And so now I'm going to option click within the grade in area simply drag it over to surrounding the third snare beat of the next measure which is right here in the same location and now you can continue doing that all the way through your track in any areas that you want so you don't have to continue making automation lines and such if you do want a steady automation like I do I want it to be on every third snare beat but only on every third snare beat so just simply do that click and drag option click and drag I'm going to deploy this out for a quick second show you how this sounds and as you can see I have the echo effect just on the snare beat where I want and I automated that effect off of the rest of the region. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.